Today marks what could be the biggest test of Donald Trump's presidency so far. Lawmakers are scheduled to vote on the GOP replacement for Obamacare, but Republican leadership is having a hard time getting the votes they need to pass it. Several House Republicans still holding out. Democrats saying they're absolutely not going to help repeal the Affordable Care Act. President Barack Obama signed that into law seven years ago today. Critics say Obamacare has led to a spike in premiums and fewer choices for Americans. But getting it replaced has proven to be quite the challenge. Mary McGuire live outside of Congressman Eric Paulson's office where some people are picketing against the repeal. Mary. Right. This is all happening outside of Congressman Eric Paulson's uh, office here in Eden Prairie ahead of that vote tonight. I'm going to step aside so you can get a look at these demonstrators. They are holding signs. They've been singing against uh, Representative Paulson's vow to vote for the repeal of Obamacare. The same can't be said for all Republicans, though. The latest numbers show at least 31 House Republicans are expected to vote against their own party's health care bill. President Donald Trump has his work cut out for him today as he tries to win back support from his own party ahead of a crucial health care vote. The White House maintaining a confident tone in the face of uncertainty. Like no, there's no plan. I mean, this is, there's plan A and plan A. We're going to get this done. And so you're confident, 100% confident? I, we're going to get it done. That's it, plain and simple. Some conservatives won't support the bill because it's not a clean repeal of the Affordable Care Act, Obama's signature legislation that he signed exactly seven years ago today. Moderates note that pushing up the timeline to roll back the ACA's Medicaid expansion would leave too many without insurance, and some also say it just doesn't do enough to control rising premium costs. House Republicans who plan on voting yes tonight are staying optimistic, while others who oppose the measure are standing their ground. We're not there yet, uh, but we're, we're very optimistic that if we work around the clock that we're going to be able to hopefully find some, some common ground. The most embarrassing thing for the Republican Party is to re repeat the mistakes of the Democratic Party. Pass a bill that's not really sound. Pass it because somebody tells you you have to. Not really understand how it works. Tonight's vote really is a game of numbers. Republicans need 216 votes for it to pass out of the House, meaning they can lose no more than 21 votes. Back here live in Eden Prairie, Representatives Paulson and Lewis do appear to be voting in favor of the appeal. However, it is still unknown how Congressman Tom Emmer will vote tonight. It'll be a fascinating night watching this, the first giant test of the Donald Trump presidency. Mary, thank you.